fall off. Well, last night I had to watch a little bit of the uh, Apocalypse Now movie because I was going through some PTSD from when I was in the army and I was going through my own apocalypse, sitting in the door gunner position in the Huey helicopter shooting, rockets going off, 203s going off, M16s, and thinking about how apocalyptic it was and how much longer I'd have to go through it. As time went on, I knew that my apocalypse would be over and that soon, years, then months, then weeks, my apocalypse was finally over and I was able to go back home and get out of it. I'm gonna go right up here and do a video about the apocalypse that we're all facing and that which I am facing once again. Unfortunately, our climate change is getting worse and worse by the year. You know it and I know it. The people on this channel are very smart and do follow along with climate change and know climate change is coming faster and faster, such as what's happening in Iraq in the Basra area how it's 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius during the day. And the humidity is usually about 80% in that area. But because it's such a dry year, it isn't that high. So people can still live there. 122 degrees Fahrenheit and 80% humidity is a death sentence for humans. They cannot live in that type of temperature and humidity. Paul Beckwith has talked about this for years. And this is probably one of the first places we're seeing on Earth that is no longer inhabitable by humans if it reaches those temperature and humidity levels. But all over the globe, we're seeing apocalyptic climate change happening. Colorado River Basin, people served, we're seeing that that river serves 40 million people annually. The annual income activity is $1.4 trillion in that area but that river is becoming unusable because it's not big enough or long enough or wide enough or have enough volume. How many years in drought has the Colorado River Basin been in? 23. Water level in Lake Mead, which is the lake that supplies all these people with water, 1,040 feet. That's the lowest it's been since the lake was filled. High water level is 1,199 feet. Communities served Los Angeles, San Diego, Phoenix, Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, Las Vegas, Nevada, Salt Lake City, Utah, Denver, Colorado, Albuquerque, New Mexico are just some of the places that are served by that water being there. And that water is disappearing. That's part of our climate change emergency that's happening. And every year it gets worse and worse. Europe's disappearing rivers causing a catastrophe. The Rhine, the Lure, the Danube, the Po have all been hard hit. Freight transportation has been decimated because of they can't get the boats in the river because it's too low of water. Coal supply that generates electricity for a lot of uh, Europe isn't being able to be shipped by barge anymore and they're having to use lorries and rail line to get the coal up there. Russia isn't helping anything. As we go into this apocalyptic climate change, we will see more and more war, more and more nutcases taking over, bad leadership, straining the supply chain. Water is used to cool nuclear reactors in France and other countries in the, in the European area, which is now no longer able to cool their reactors or are having to relax environmental laws so that they can pour hot water into what little river there is. As we go along on this environmental catastrophe, year after year, it'll get worse and worse because we're doing absolutely nothing to stifle it. We're putting up bills that say, yeah, we're doing this or that, but in reality, it's too little too late. As we go into this apocalyptic scenario, we will see more bad leadership, like the Trumps of the world, where people that are desperate have just don't know what to do, so they follow somebody who's absolutely clueless about climate change or anything else, and they will give their obedience to that person over and over again, no matter what they do or how they do it or even how they treat the people that are following them. They don't care. They just want somebody that they can follow without having to pay attention to anything, and that'll become the new norm as war and, and starvation will start to take over the world 
and not too distant future is it. It's sooner than you think. Soon we'll be on our own apocalyptic now scenario on the planet Earth.